Hey guys, this is Jazugan out here. I'm posting a video on Domination on Mirage. Uh, I really never played Domination, so this is one of a rarity that I'll post one. Uh, this is one of the best matches I've ever had on Domination. And I finally got my attack dogs, which I was trying for a while to get. And after I had just gotten the swarm, I was trying to get the attack dogs too. That's my next one. I set them for this one and I got it. Also get a VSAT in there, which helps out tremendously getting the attack dogs. But the only good thing about Domination is that you only need to get pretty much half the normal kills that you would for a kill streak, as long as you get a few capture kills or secure, you know, in a position secure uh, points. And you, if you get enough of those, you'll be all right. I actually got the attack dogs with 12 kills, and I think like three captures and a couple capture kills. So it adds up a lot quicker that way. But um, the first round was where I really did my damage, and then the other. The last second round, we were up by a lot as it was, so they just pretty much camped back on one flag. And I tried pushing because I was going for you know a high score game, and I ended up not doing so well in the second round. But I still went very positive, uh, 42 and 11. I went, and uh, you can't complain about it, that type of match anytime. So I was really happy with this gameplay, and especially because I'm a Mirage, I not too th you know into this map, but. Uh, it actually worked out really good on this one, and uh, I was using the vector with a uh, holographic sight and uh, quick draw, and um, maybe stock. I think my stock might have been on that one too. And uh, this is obviously hardcore domination. And there you see, I got the VSAT. But um, so I want to talk about today is uh, you know, a few things. I, obviously, the new maps are on the way, which is always a good thing. And soon, same with the new cameras coming out. And it seems like uh, with Black Ops, I think they did a really good job um, giving the users what they want. You know, old maps, but they're not just recycled maps. They're they're well done, remade. And uh, there's the K9. See, and right there, I have 12 kills at that point, I believe. But um, I think the biggest problem with uh, giving these users everything is that they keep charging you for them but I mean it's not that not people are willing to pay I mean people are I, I am too for the, the new camels I paid for the dragon and the cyborg I like both of them enough to, and it was only two bucks but uh, with the new game coming out uh, you know they're, it's, it's just like they know they're trying to get as much money from you as they can now and then they're going to get more from the new game I understand it's different developers but I mean, basically, I'm sure they all get some money from each other somehow, proceeds for using the Call of Duty name. So, I mean, they try to rope you in. and You know, the new maps come out August 2nd for PlayStation 3. And uh, what really stinks is that, you know, the fourth map pack might not come out until, like, October, November. Probably November for us, October for Xbox. But by November, you have the new game out. And, you know, do I, I have the season pass, but I feel like I getting screwed out of the last $15 of that season pass because um, am I going to really play the new maps that much? Probably not. I mean, I'm going to download them just because I have the season pass and I can get them downloaded, no problem. But I can only see myself playing them for like a week before Call of Duty Ghost comes out and assuming Call of Duty Ghost is going to be any good, I'm going to end up just getting hooked on that. Plus all my game, my friends on here will play it too. So uh, Black Ops will go by the wayside and that's what's disappointing. But um, I just hope that uh, with they should have put out another uh, gun too. I know they put out the zombie gun, but they really should have gave us another weapon because that's a motivation for a lot of people is to keep playing, is to use another weapon at least, something they never used or never mastered. And I would have liked that too. And that might actually that might actually keep me playing Black Ops 2 for a little while longer if the fourth DLC has a new weapon too. But uh, we shall see. Um, anyway, you know, I talk about the game quite often. I like I don't really talk much about my game plays, although, I mean, I do in the beginning. But uh, I just, um, you know, I think that the game itself is actually a lot better than people give it credit for. And even than I give it credit for, I get mad at it too easily. But uh, I just hope the ghost lives up to the the same billing. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 was just not where it was supposed to be, so let's hope Ghost proves better, but uh, this round's coming to an end. The second round, I'm going to fast forward a little bit more of it, 
I mean, it's a very slow round. I'll show you the beginning of it because I do start off with another kill, and I thought I was going to start off, you know, I thought, oh, here it comes again. I'm going to go on. A, I'm going to go on a roll. It didn't turn out that way, unfortunately. But uh, um, you know, domination. I don't know. I never get into it. You know, I never get into a good rhythm, especially on core domination. I guess hardcore domination, I'd probably be a lot more comfortable with. I play hardcore a lot more than core. Well, not a lot more than core, but I play it more. I'm better at it than core. Core just takes there's too many bullets. I mean, it takes too many bullets, and there's too many class things that you need to have. Like, you need to have certain things, certain perks, or you just can't do well without those certain perks, it seems like. But, um, I just want to talk about real quick is, um, you know, there's a lot of hater rate on YouTube. I mean, a lot of haters out there, and I watch these videos of people, and then, uh, you know, just people subscribe to them, or at least take the time to watch the video and comment, and then they, you know, badmouth the person, or tell them their video sayings, or, you know, they could do better in the game, and, and it's like, what are you wasting your time watching the people's video for, like, I mean, I don't have that many subscribers, and my video views aren't very high for each video, and I'm hoping they do go up, and I get more subscribers. But you know what, I'm comfortable with not having a bunch of, you know, people I don't really know who are just going to badmouth my stuff. I mean, it's nice to hear the compliments, but uh, a lot of people badmouth you for nothing. And you could have a really good match, and, you know, it's always somebody's got to be better. Always somebody's got to have that hater aid. And uh, I just find that that's, um, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of playing the game and supporting somebody on YouTube. Like, there's no reason to even watch their video then if you just want to bash on them. But um, that's what people do, and it's it's just not mixed. I think makes people disenchanted with YouTube. And I know everybody's got to have criticism, and you know even your biggest fan can be critical f for something that you do. But um, I mean, it's one thing that criticism is one thing to just be blatantly offensive purposely trying to put somebody down and that's what a lot of people do do and uh, I hope as I get more subscribers and more video views that doesn't happen to me I mean I never ever like think that I do anything in my videos to make people pissed off I, I mean as you can see I don't really camp too much I mean this is like you know this is the most you'll ever see me camp because I know a guy's coming down there and I'm trying to shoot at him but like you see me run from spot to spot and you know that's my style of play and then you see me comment about the gameplay I know a lot of people do commentaries about different things in their life and all. I'm not big enough. I'm not a big enough uh, YouTuber yet to even, you know, get into more personal commentaries. I like to stick to commentaries related to the game, related to video games, related to how the match played out, and you know, without going step by step into what's going on, but just giving you a general idea of how it played out. And uh, I think that's, you know, that's fun to me right now. And I'm hoping that eventually I can do commentaries and have people wanting to know different things. And, I mean, I don't live the most interesting life, but I still think, uh, you know, there's certain things I can share with you guys that you guys would be interested in. But uh, we shall uh, talk about those at a later time, of course. But I think uh, people just got to, stop hating you know just stop hating and learn to you know enjoy what you're watching and if you don't enjoy what you're watching don't watch it anymore that's simple and uh maybe maybe that will happen for me that people won't be such haters but uh i kind of doubt it but you never know and uh as this match is almost over i do get the final kill and uh i um you know i end up going 42 and 11 which i was proud of that i guess i think based on starting the first round 32 and 4 I definitely should have done better, but uh, you can't always you can't always maintain that. You know, I was just in that intensity in that first round. And I couldn't duplicate it for the second round. I just just didn't have it in me. But uh, I mean, maybe maybe one of these uh, games I can finally get that elusive game where I go like 60 and one or something. But most of the time, I usually get like 10 to 15 deaths while still getting 30 to 40 kills in this style of match. So I'm pretty proud of that. And I think I'm a better player than your average player. And uh, I provide good videos for you guys. And I hope you guys keep enjoying them. And I really appreciate it. And here's the final kill. And bam, we dominated 182 to 159. They actually started to come back compared to how that first round was. 
that's how you know. And I, they really did much better that second round at maintaining their uh, their uh, flags. So, all right, guys. Well, take care. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I'm gonna have a few more videos that I want to post up in the future. Several orbital VSATs. I got a double orbital VSAT video that I want to try to get up there. I gotta find the match though. All right, take care.